Hey, Mom. Hey, what's for dinner? Oh, I don't really like that. Hey, can we have some fried chicken? And some watermelon? Okay, cool. Can you pick me up? Um, cross the street, but I'm scared to cross the street on my own. Yeah? Okay. I'll see you. Oh! In explosions like this, a tremendous amount of energy is released very quickly. Where does the energy come from? It comes from chemical bonds. Breaking bonds require energy, while forming bonds release energy. The more electrons are shared, the stronger the bond is. Single bonds are the weakest while triple bonds are the strongest. The stronger the bond, the more energy is required to break it, and more energy is released when it is formed. This molecule is nitroglycerin. It has three nitrate groups and a glycerin group in the middle. To release the energy contained in the molecule, it can be burned. This process releases the energy, but it is slow. Bonds are broken by thermal energy. But what happens when you hit it with a hammer? And we're only going to use the tiniest amount to show them. Even slowed down more than 500 times. The explosion is incredibly fast. Every single molecule of nitroglycerin is instantly detonated after the impact. This property also makes nitroglycerin a highly unstable substance. Transporting nitroglycerin is very dangerous because you can set it off by simply shaking a container too hard. But breaking bonds requires energy input, so where does the energy of the explosion come from? It comes from the formation of new molecules, including nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and water. Nitrogen has a very strong triple bond. Forming this bond releases a ton of energy. But just how much energy is given off? 1,529 kilojoules per mole of nitroglycerin. The explosive force is delivered by rapidly expanding gas. One mole of liquid nitroglycerin occupies only 570 milliliters, but the gases produced in the reaction occupy 710 liters at standard temperature and pressure. 